Hello everyone, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen, thank you so much for watching. So today I bring to you this beautiful full road iron uh, wall candle holder using all Dollar Tree items. We're going to need three of these garden fences from the Dollar Tree and we're going to remove those posts uh, from all three of the fences and I'm going to be using my hot knife if you've seen my previous videos. I've used this before. We're also going to remove the side latches that you see here for all three fences. So again, I use this hot knife. I think it makes it a whole lot easier, but you can use heavy duty scissors or plier shears, whatever you need to use. Uh, for one of the fences only, I removed that top part that you see there all the way through. And I've also removed all the arrows. Here I'm working on my very last arrow. And so again, the top piece and the arrow I'm removing for just one of the fences. And I will be using these um, zip ties, I believe they're 11 inches, to hold the fences together. So I'm going to be applying them there and as you can see, this is where I apply them. I'm working on my last one. You don't want to overly tight them because then the fences will overlap. Um, I did use hot glue in between the fences to join them together. I do recommend you doing that um, either before or after you put the zip ties on. So now we're going to give this a white wash with um, chalk paint and the color white that I purchased at Walmart, but you can find it at Michaels. We're going to follow up with this blue, I believe it's called Bahama Blue, uh, but this is not, uh, this is actually acrylic paint, uh, the blue. Uh, this right here is the white uh, chalk paint. I'm just giving it a wash and so every so often now I'm just gonna follow up with this Bahama blue and it's an acrylic paint I purchased it at Walmart but I've seen it at uh, Michaels as well and we're just lightly gonna go over every so often because we want to give it that nice weathered patina look uh, that you see with old uh, wrought iron fences and so I really do love this color. It, um, it's very tropical and a nice blue. Yep, and so every so often for this one, I'm using a sponge as you can see here. And all the items will be listed in the description box below as always guys. Okay, so now we're going to uh, move on. And uh, as you can see following here, I did go ahead and decided to apply the a gold that I purchased at uh, Michaels and the color I will it will be listed down below but I did give it a very light wash a little less than the blue every so often so again to give it that old patina washed out look and now these are mine here but I've seen similar ones at Dollar Tree in a pack of two but these I happen to have in the house and so we're going to use this I'm going to use a total of eight of them and I'm going to adhere uh, them with the the zip tie and I'm going to cover the zip tie with my bling wrap here, my rhinestone wrap I've cut into strips. And so I'm going to apply it the way you're going to see, but if you recreate this piece you can apply it however and wherever you like. So again, um, using the zip tie to zip it on back there and again guys in between the fences I use hot glue to help keep them together on top of the zip ties now guys it turned out that these zip ties were too short uh, I recommend that you get longer ones than 11 inches the longer the better you can always cut them down but if they're too short it's gonna make it hard I actually had to get creative with what I had I had to double my zip ties and get creative and loop them together somehow, but I recommend you get longer ones. And here again, I'm covering the zip ties with the diamond bling wrap. And uh, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and finish on putting on my little tea light holders. And I did happen to have some gold uh, tea lights. I think it turned out really well because it brings out the gold patina wash that we put on the piece. 
and this is what it looks like when it's all lit up on the wall I think it turned out absolutely beautiful guys I am getting some of that Spanish tropical vibe with this you know that you see in the Caribbean or something like that that nice washed patina I love the turquoise and the gold peeking through I absolutely love it it looks so beautiful when it's lit up most especially I think the bling rock gives it that extra girly glam touch and yeah I absolutely love it I hope you recreate it guys please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more don't forget to hit your notification button so that you can get notified every time I upload a video because YouTube is a little funny like that thank you so much for watching I'll see you very soon on my next video bye guys